Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Let's keep renovating Mia's house. We have created her parents their own special bedroom, which is really nice because they didn't have one before, which is a bit rough. <laughs> Here it is. If you missed seeing this being built, make sure you check it out because it's just so perfect for them. I'm really happy with it. But we did discover that uh, if we're going to put this where I plan to have it, which is up here, hinged on on the second level, we're gonna have a bit of a problem because it's gonna, well, basically need a whole other room underneath. So we are going to design another room that fits in with a house to go underneath. So we will start with a couple of 10 squares here to make the base plate. They will make exactly the same size when we put them together as the floor above, so that's good. I just didn't have another single piece like I had for the top room, but this is fine. These two squares will do quite nicely. We're going to attach it down here to the wall, and as you can see, we've got some stone gray and we've got purple. So we're going to put a hinge down here first and then we're going to make the bottom layer of these walls stone and then a thin li a little ribbon of purple around the top. Well, uh, not along the top top, <laughs> on top of the stone so that it matches in with the actual, well, with the rest of the decor of the existing house. There's actually a, a little orange strip along the top which I can't replicate because I don't have any more of that orange. And these windows, these are this the best that I can do because I don't have any more in these blue. This is like just a new color, something that hasn't come in any of the other Lego friends set so far. So I always make these builds out of pieces that I already have. So I think they tie in quite well. I put one of these windows into the parents' room above too. So it's just kind of, it's a little bit different from the original house, but it still works okay with the whole, uh, with the aesthetic. And we are actually having some massive windows to for light and here are some of the pictures that Anne has taken Anne is a nature photographer and you might actually know where this has come from out of which set and if you already know make sure you let me know in the comments but this room down here I haven't actually told you what we're going to use it for I know a lot of you think it's going to be Daniel's room but it's not yet I've got different plans for Daniel's room. This, well, I'm not going to tell you quite yet. <laughs> I'm going to build this little single kind of, well, single pole thing up the middle here with some inward facing studs so that if I do this, I actually can straighten them up a bit because it drives me bonkers when they're not actually straight. And we're going to use this to hold some more of her pictures, some of her big landscape prints, because this room, we're going to use it as Anne's photography studio. So here's one of her beautiful landscape prints that she, this is just a picture that she took of the forest that's right out their back door. So she's got lots and lots of scope. Here's another one. This one must've been taken at dusk. These beautiful pictures. They're just gorgeous. So they are up here on this viewing wall here. And I think that the walls are pretty good. So what else is she going to need? Uh, what else is she going to need for her photography studio? Well, of course, <laughs> look, she's going to need, she's going to need this, which is not something you generally have in photography studios. Yes, you probably do have little cupboards and stuff like that, but you don't actually have frogs. No, you don't generally have frogs. So here's a red one and here's a green one and we can't have them just jumping all around the house. This is Angus's rare frog collection. He loves frogs and his frogs have got their own little, uh, what do you call it? Aquarium? Uh, what do you call a terrarium, a terrarium, that's it, for the frogs to hang out in. And this one's here on top of this little mushroom and we might be able to fit the red one down here just under the mushroom. Oh look, that's a perfect fit. And we need a bit more green in here and a pretty flower. And then we will put a glass front on it. And then Angus's frogs, and hold on, I might need to turn this flower just a little tiny bit to fit that on. Then Angus's frogs will be nice and safe. We put a light on the top and we're going to put this in the corner here in front of the big, big windows, in front of one of the big, big windows. So, okay, so this is a workroom, it's an office space. So <laughs> we've got a terrarium, a frog terrarium, which is obviously something that every workspace needs, but we do need some desks and very important for Anne is a really high quality printer so that she can print out her prints uh, and she can sell them. So this is her job, this is what she does. So this printer is going to do that for her. 
It's an awesome printer. It's so much better than mine. Look at this. It's got a picture of a kitty with its head sticking out of a flower pot. Don't know whose cat that is. Actually, I do. Do you also recognize this? This has come from another Lego Friends build. Here's another picture that she has taken of Mia with Mia's puppy. So some more pictures are over here lined up on the side. Some more prints that she's done of her photographs. <laughs> and that fits beautifully in. So we've got a printer. Over in this little corner, we're going to put a bit more, a bit more greenery in. This house is just peppered with plants because they just love nature. It just fits in beautifully with nature. But we're sticking with the orange flowers for pretty much the whole theme here. So I want to try and fit this plant in that corner. Uh, it's going to need a pot, a planter. So we'll make a nice brown planter and that's cute. That should work quite nicely. Let's see if I can fit that in the corner. Oh, I kind of, I kind of want to center it in there and you can't do that without putting, this is a, this is a neat little trick. It's nice and easy. If you just put a single stud underneath, I can basically put this wherever I like between studs or on a stud. So that way I can center it, twist these little leaves around. So it actually fits perfectly in the space. That's so nice and it's in front of the window. It's just really pretty. Okay, so we've got a printer. She's going to need, uh, well, she needs a camera. Of course she needs a camera. She has got a vast collection of cameras, I'm sure. But this one's got the telescopic lens on it because she uses this one for shooting pictures of the birds. It's on a tripod. This is uh, shooting pictures of the birds in the forest out the back of the house. They're just so perfectly set up. So we're going to stick this out of the window and I kind of don't like the way it's just floating there. It's just going to fall off. So let's put, oh, I already knocked over the camera. So that camera's broken. We won't tell Anne until she goes and tries to use it. I'm sure it'll be fine. So if we put this here, we can stick one of the legs in. And now the camera is really, really super secure on its tripod there. And Anne can take all the pictures. Look at that. Straight out the window. She won't miss anything. Okay. This is a workspace. We need a table and we need an office chair and we need a computer. So let's get onto that. Let's give her a chair to sit on. And we're going to tie this chair in with a color scheme that's already in the house with the orange chair. In fact, this is an identical build to Mia's chair up here in her bedroom. See, I was so pleased that I had the right pieces to be able to make another chair that was exactly the same as one already in the house. And she needs a table and I'm actually making it quite a big table area so she can spread her photographic prints out on it too when she wants to. We're going to put it over here in this corner here and if we put the chair in front, nice, she can fit in there perfectly and because it's got a smooth top we're not going to build a computer on here we're just going to use a laptop and that way she can take it wherever she wants. She can do her work wherever she needs to. But this is now the workroom which works Ha! Did you get that? Which works so perfectly because it's going to be right next to the living room. So they'll tie in well office living room. Now let's stack the bedroom on top and we're almost ready to install this into the existing Mia's house, which is really exciting. But before we do that, I want to do one more cute little thing because down here, even though it's got a high ceiling on the bottom floor, it's actually quite a bit dark. So we're going to put a light in, a ceiling light actually. So if we put this little yellow piece down here, it's going to look like a ceiling light. It's not actually going to emit any light, but I can imagine that it's doing that. So let's put it up here. Look how cool is that? I love the fact that this room's a bit higher than the room above, which gives us that extra headspace. So we can actually put a light in down, down here. We're so cool. I think that's centered now. That looks so good. I love this little, I love this little office area. Okay. so. Anne is ready to hang out in here and she's going to love working in this space. Let's see if, <laughs> if I can, this is going to be a challenge actually. So this top hinge bit's ready to go. I need to take this little space here where we hold the saddle. I'll just put it over there for now, but I'm sure I'll be able to find a place for it soon. But this is where we're going to try and tuck <laughs> this in here. Might be easier if we do it that way. This is actually a lot easier if I can. Just smush it in here. There we go. There we go. It's all lining up now. We just have to push everything down again. And oh, hold on. There's a bit fallen off in the bathroom. We'll put that back on. And ta-da! Look at that. We have now got 
two whole new rooms added to Mia's house and they're perfectly playable because it just flips open in a doll's house style and we can tuck it away nice and tidily as well if we need to. So I'm overjoyed with how that's worked out but we haven't finished the renovations in here yet because we are going to make a room for Daniel yet. So we're going to do a similar thing on the other side of the house. There's not quite as much space. So we've made the bigger rooms on this other side and Daniel's gonna have a room and we'll extend the kitchen down the bottom. And that way we can put, yeah, that way we can put the table and the chairs actually in their own spot. Okay, this is exciting. Okay, so we are going to continue extending Mia's house. There's still more to be done. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this sort of video. And I will see you with a new one very, very soon. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.